Big black sheep. Please, oh my mom, I'm gonna make you proud. The mother's broken heart in court today. Her teenage son murdered in a robbery, a setup over the sale of a high-end pair of shoes. Today was sentencing day for Augustus Sirleaf, the he young man who pulled the trigger. Bob Bloom has the story, including right. reaction from the victim's family, who believes the criminal justice system failed them and their loved one. He murdered my son senselessly. He robbed him, took away his money. You've seen Johnson's loved ones angry, heartbroken. Spoke about the giant hole in their family during victim impact statements. Our lives were never, ever be the same never johnson by all accounts caring kind and trusting had just gotten his permit to drive his first job caring kind and trusting we don't hear those words so many times that's good no but in blackistan it's bad that's not good that's not good around in 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 an area where the teens are like praise where it's cute to be like grimy and shady that's cute to be a thug it's cute to be a fucking gangbang it's cute to scam people and shit all that shit is cute in blackistan and that's this trusting mother, part probably messed him up a little bit the kind part kindness will truck fuck you up i love it yeah never Johnson, by all accounts, caring, kind, and trusting, had just gotten his permit to drive, his first job, and had dreams of college and a nursing career. But it was all stolen from the young man at 17 when he was shot and killed by Augustus Sirleaf, November 2022. Sirleaf and his crew had lured Johnson here to this Plymouth apartment complex parking lot, supposedly to purchase a high-end pair of shoes. Sirleaf... <sighs> They got them with the other way. And now listen, I tell you, never sell anything to a son man on, 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 on an app, but also never buy anything. You know what I'm saying? Never buy anything from a son man on these apps. Real shit, vice versa. Because they lure like this. They lure you to the spot because they know you're bringing cash. Yeah, man, come get this thing worth a thousand bucks and meet me in the parking lot of fucking Blackistan Gardens at fucking, you know what I'm saying, behind the dumpster and shit. We're going to make the transaction for a thousand dollars and I'm going to give you this thing worth a thousand dollars. I got robbed like that when I was younger. Dudes like see me, like dudes that I knew and shit, like my old neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Like, like I, I wasn't like going back to that old neighborhood like when I got a little older when I was from younger type shit, but I guess I seen one of the dudes downtown. And shit, he's like, "Yeah, man, we got pistols for sale." Cause you see my chain, I had like a little nice little chain on. So he like, I I I, I didn't even peep it. Yeah, you know I mean, I didn't even peep the shit. But yeah, yeah, he was scheming. He was he was scheming the whole time. Like, yeah, man, you got nice that. Oh, yeah, come through. We got um two fives for sale, whatever, whatever. Man, me be me be the fool. Not even thinking about. It. I took my cousin with me and shit. They end up fucking robbing my cousin, and again robbed my cousin, and they didn't get they didn't get the chain shit, but they end up robbing us and shit. And it was like they lured us to the spot. Yeah, it's right there, and they end up just having mad dudes just rush us, come out the cut, don't move type shit, and yeah, it's just crazy, man. Yeah, they lure you, they lure you to a place. Yeah, go ahead. I had a similar story, but I mean, didn't luckily it didn't turn out bad. But I sold my car on Craigslist, and they came over my house. They weren't they weren't sunmen they were gliders but but they're like uh can we come go and test drive it and i went with them i was sitting in the back seat and like they started driving and i don't know for some reason i kind of got a little panicky because the way they were talking they weren't talking bad they looked like they were like they, they had rehearsed their conversation or something they started going kind of far away i was like oh shit. but luckily they were on the up and up they were fine but i just realized how stupid I was to even do something like that. It could have exactly. been hey, turned out very for, bad. For uh, you know, us for telling that story. Yeah. Salute, salute, salute to down. Abe the Hunter, man. He says, he says, I got pulled over by cops before that 
when I, that's when I realized my ex girlfriend was woke when she pulled out cell phone to record. Yeah, yeah. Like they they took a nurse, a black male nurse from us. Yeah, man. That's rare. It is, man. But it, 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 Ron Sugar, would you meet some sun men here to exchange something worth a thousand dollars with a thousand dollars? Hell no. Yeah, man. That's I just buy it from the store. No, I'm saying if it was something that you couldn't get from the store, let's just say it's something that like I'm the only way you could get it. <laughs> um, salute to um Hot Fire. Hot Fire says, I I know your current situation isn't ideal for a studio right now. How much would it take to upgrade your situation into a nice studio? This can be the year Op Nation pulls together for you. Um, yeah, man. Um my basement is my studio, and in a week I'll be going to um, DC. So I'm gonna be, I'm so we're gonna ha- we're gonna try to have the baby in DC because my wife likes the hospitals there better. So we'll be there for like a month, and I may be doing shows sporadically because I'm gonna have a newborn. But um, and those shows are gonna be in the closet. <laughs> um, but when I do get back to um to um Pennsylvania in um February yeah I would I do want to move to a different part of this basement where I wouldn't have this refrigerator behind me and put something up in the back and have something a little better but the people of Op Nation support the channel so much man that you know those type things I'll be able to do once I, you know, have this baby and get settled and everything. Because right now, everything's focused towards preparing for the baby coming. But Op Nation supports the channel very well. Salute to all you guys. And it, it even hitting the like button now. So I don't have any complaints from Op Nation, man. I don't have any requests from Op Nation. The main thing I say is keep hitting the like button, keep supporting the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Check out um, the merch store, and I'm going to get this background fixed up in the next coming month. But my main thing is trying to um, get it so, because remember the. Um, the Airbnb I stayed I stay in in DC, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. So I I had to get a modem this week so I could get Wi-Fi when I go to DC. And I'm doing the shows in the closet, and I can have Wi-Fi. So I, I I've, I've 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 done that. So hopefully when I go to DC ne- this next time, the shows will be better in the closet. So that's really what I've been dealing with going forward, trying to get um make sure that shows to be better when i'm in the closet of the airbnb next week and the week after that and the week after that and the week after that so that's my main concern now but yeah when i get back i'm gonna try to figure out what i'm gonna do i kind of like the background though because it's like this is the underground man the uh, f- ain't nobody paying attention to your damn background we just we just out here yeah yeah, no, but some people think that like there is a there is an element of like, well, you know, if you have that, you know, it, it makes it look more professional. But I think that you know, with the way YouTube does me, I don't think I don't think that the YouTube will allow me to um, grow a certain level, regardless of what I do. That's the problem with it. What he said, no, I, cool, I think, I think uh, since you give out the news so raw the background looks raw like that too so i think it goes well with the theme yeah, it, the fits the, it fits the theme for sure yeah shot and killed by augustus sirleaf november 2022 sirleaf and his crew had lured johnson here to this plymouth apartment complex parking lot supposedly to purchase a high-end pair of shoes sirleaf admitted the alleged robbery attempt turned deadly when he spotted a gun in Johnson's waistband 
and opened fire. And he tried to give him his money. And he was robbed of his life. I'm truly sorry to the family. I never intended for any of this to happen. I know it's a tough loss. And that's not who I am as a person. Before sentencing. Oh, wow. That's, I mean, don't get me wrong. That's, the, that's what he's supposed to say. But the bars in hell, are you, aren't you surprised that a son man actually met the, the hellish bar? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. Uh, yeah, usually I mean, you have a, have a smirk on him or something or just a stone yeah, cold. Yeah, a smirk or be looking bored or, you know what I'm saying, mad about But I don't shitty. think he's real black people. They're like from overseas, aren't they? You don't think this is a real black kid? No. It's like oh, it's maybe, from, maybe. Yeah, they got an accent. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, well, if they got an accent, he doesn't. Let's see. Look his name. I'm truly sorry to the family. Augustus Sirleaf. I don't know. That could be a European name or Augustus. That could be what's that could be that could be um um Haitian or what's the name? Mm, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Because I mean, like, even though this is what you're supposed any human being facing possibly a life sentence with his last chance to give a depression on the judge to sway the judge in any way, even though anybody with an IQ over 50 would say, would do anything they could to plead their case and make the judge think they're not a piece of shit. 99% of the time, some men don't take advantage of that. That moment. This is just, even though this might not do nothing, but it's your last chance to speak to the judge. Right before they they give you the sentence. Most some people just be like, mm, or smiling or smirking or. It just, I wouldn't have to kill him had he not, you know, yes, made me shit mad. like that. Yeah. I'm truly sorry to the family. I never intended for any of this to happen. I know it's a tough loss. Yeah, that's not who I am as a person. Before sentencing, Sirleaf offered this brief apology. He had previously agreed to plead guilty to second-degree murder and accept a 23-year prison sentence. Not nearly enough for Johnson's family. I don't think it's justice because I see on the news all the time like people get more time for drugs mm -hmm. than taking a life. Augustus Sirleaf now immediately heads off to begin at serving his sentence with credit for time already served. He's looking at just shy of the next 15 years of his life behind prison bars. Meantime, his accomplice in this murder, Hans Madave, scheduled to be sentenced next week. So you've seen Johnson's family will be right back here in downtown Minneapolis in their quest for some form of justice. Reporting outside the Hennepin County Government Center, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Mm.